Hi, I'm Shane with eTrailer.com. Today you're going to be taking a look at, I'm going to walk you through the installation of the Curt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on your 2017 Dodge Charger. Adding a hitch like this to your vehicle is going to serve a lot of purposes. One, having a Class 3 hitch, you're able to pull a little bit larger trailers. Maybe you have a small camper you want to pull to go camping. Um, maybe you want to put a cargo carrier on it. You want to get some items or cargo from inside the vehicle, bring them out, put them outside on the cargo carrier to make more room for your passengers. Maybe you have a family of four and you want a hitch that can carry four bike racks. This hitch is going to be able to do all of that. This is going to be a class three hitch, two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. We're going to have a reinforced collar to give us a little extra stability there. Hitch pin hole is going to be five eighths inch in diameter. It's going to take a standard five eighths hitch pin. Hitch pin and clip does not come with this hitch, however it can be found here at eTrailer.com. We're going to have plate style safety chain loops. You can see we have very large holes. It's going to help to accommodate different size safety chain hooks. This hitch is going to be a black powder coated steel. The black powder coat is really going to help resist any rust or corrosion. Now, as far as how our hitch looks on our vehicle, uh, the Kurt's going to have a round tube design. When you compare it to like the draw tight, draw tight uh, cross tube is a little bit smaller and it's going to be more of a rectangle tube. Uh, but the Kurt tube, even being a little bit bigger and being round, it does fit nicely with the contour of the vehicle. It's really not going to take away from the look of the charger. Our receiver tube doesn't stick out past our fascia, so we're not going to have to worry about hitting our legs or our shins on it when we're loading and unloading the trunk of the car. Now, when adding any of those hitch mount accessories to your vehicle or to the hitch, you want to make sure you're not exceeding the uh, weight capacities of the hitch. We're going to have a 350 pound max tonal weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. So whether it's a cargo carrier or bike rack, you want to make sure you're not exceeding that downward pressure. We're going to have a 3,500 pound max trailer weight, which is a trailer plus a load included. That's how much the hitch can pull. Now, as far as our measurements go, from the ground to the top inside of our receiver tube, it's going to be about 11 inches. That number is important for any of your hitch mount accessories that may require a little bit more ground clearance. From the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost part of our bumper is going to be about five inches. Keep that number in mind for any of those hitch mount accessories that may fold up against your vehicle. You want to make sure that they're not going to make contact. To begin our installation, um, your instructions are going to be for a Dodge Challenger. Um, they're going to be a little bit different because on the Challenger they tell you to take the bolts off and remove the exhaust. Uh, they're a little bit different. So what we're going to do is first you're going to take a strap. You can hang it from anywhere as long as it's solid. I like to usually go from the springs. We're going to go underneath our exhaust. And we're going to tighten it up like that. Then we need to remove our exhaust hangers. So we're going to have, if you have a dual exhaust, you're going to have one over here, you're going to have one over there, you're going to have one back here, one on the back side. We're going to have a small one here. We're going to have another one right up there. Half inch socket, it's going to take the bolt out. Here. We'll have one here. Then what we're going to do is take a half inch socket. We're going to have two cross braces here. Uh, we're going to take off, there's two bolts on each side on each bracket. We're going to go ahead and remove the brackets for now. We're going to set them down. We're going to have two push pin fasteners inside each wheel well. Actually, we'll have three. We're going to pull those off. You can use a flathead screwdriver, trim panel tool if you have one. You pry out the center. And then the base. There's actually a 10 millimeter bolt right up here on the inside.
or 10 millimeter head bolt, I should say. You're gonna do this on each side of the vehicle. Then right here at the edge of our fascia, we're gonna slowly pull out. Just like that, that gives us enough room. Gives us enough flex at the bottom of our bumper here to get our pipe past our tip on the inside. Now we're gonna flex out the bottom. We'll take a little bit of tension off of our strap. We need to be able to get up and access these holes. We're gonna be using these two holes on both sides of the vehicle. On our passenger side, we're gonna pull a bolt down through both of these. On the driver's side, we're gonna be pulling a bolt down through the bottom or through this front one. And then this one here is actually gonna be threaded. We're gonna thread a bolt up into it. So to get our hardware in, we're gonna take our pull wire we're gonna go through the hole we wanna come out of. Come out of this big hole. We're gonna put on a spacer block. We're gonna feed it up into the hole. Carriage bolt, we're gonna thread it on to the spring end of the wire. it up to the hole. And then pull it down just like that. We're going to do that same thing with this one. And then on our driver's side, as I mentioned, we're going to be pulling our bolt down through this one. We're going to be threading a bolt up into that one. We'll do the same thing we did on the other side with our pull wire. Pull it down just like that. Now to get your hitch up in place, you're gonna kinda of have to go at an angle. You can see how I kind of pulled down this hanger here. Push in that corner, and you can slide this in. I've got it resting right on top of my exhaust. Now we're gonna take our pull wires. We're gonna go through the corresponding holes in the hitch. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my driver's side, because I have one bolt that's going up. It's gonna be a hex bolt. You're gonna put a conical tooth washer on it. You're gonna make sure the teeth are facing up towards the hitch. Once we get our bolt in on one side, we'll go to the other side. We'll move one of the pull wires. We're gonna put on the nut. Now with one on each side, our hitch being held in place, we can install our remaining hardware. And we're gonna tighten and torque all of our hardware to the specification of the instructions. Good idea to use an extension with a swivel on it. Once you're done tightening, torquing all your hardware to the specification of the instructions, you can reinstall your exhaust in reverse order from the way you took it off, and then reinstall your fascia. Again, I'm ShaneWheelieTrailer.com. I hope this video has helped you, whether you're still deciding or installing the Kirk Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver on your 2017 Dodge Charger.